to my life as a maiden. <sighs> well, you know, as you saw where the last episode ended, it was a perfectly fit store that's barely been fixed for uh, probably less than six hours. And she busted it. Erica busted it. She's so strong and hench. She's got an eight pack, a oh. ten pack. And oh, she's hencher than the woman from the trailer of The Last of Us 2. <laughs> That's how hench she is, and she's only 17. Just remember that. She kicks you in the nuts, those nuts are gone. You'd be like, hurry, I'm gonna have kids in the future. She nope. pops you in the nuts, but nope, never mind. Cage, sure. Oh, you're a eunuch. Congratulations. Enjoy your new life without sex. That's how strong she is. I hope I got that in your mind and you're thinking about it and now you have a certain pain going down there. Just thinking about it. This pink hair girl is nothing. Is Don't don't mess with her. She'll, she'll mess you up. <coughs> Maria, you're not asleep yet. What did you want me to sleep this off? I was going to apologize in the morning, but i say it now. It was an accident, I swear, I'm sorry th that I saw it again. Hm. hm, are you really? This is the second time you walked in on me on the shower. You best not make it a third, which you <laughs> will, I bet. And your eyes went straight to it. Forgive me if I'm not, I'm doubting you. I know I'm being mean, I know deep down Erica isn't that kind of person, but I'm so embarrassed that I can't stop my mouth from utter the accusations, uttering accusations. Maria, I, I would never do something so disgusting, something so, so, so criminal. I may be a boy, but it isn't any less embarrassing for me, Erica. I didn't say it was. I can only imagine how hum humiliated I would have been if I were in your position. It would have been if I was in your position. I'll make it up to you, I promise. And how do you plan on doing that? I, uh, let you see me naked. Whoa. What? what? Whoa. I saw, I saw you twice, so I give you two minutes to see me completely nude. Please don't touch me, though. Do, do you honestly believe I'd want you to do that? I have the same opinions you do about lust. No, but I had to offer. Then it doesn't mean anything if you knew I was going to refuse. That's not making it up to me. I changed my mind. I, sh I changed my mind. Strip. What, what did you just say? You heard me. Let me see all of you like you did to me. Whoa. Whoa. Alright, only for two minutes, remember that. Yeah. Erica takes off her uniform, she starts with the top and kicks off her shoes and slips out of her skirt. As soon as she's about to unhook her bra, I decided to end it. Stop! Huh? But... You've proven that you'd do it. Please put your clothes back on. I wouldn't... I would have let you see. I wasn't... <laughs> Anticipating you're stopping me that time. <sighs> I know. Do you forgive me? Yes. I, I don't want you to feel the same way that I do. You're my friend, and I care about you. So that's why I refuse to see you naked. I just wanted to see you. To see if you meant what you said, or were just saying things to try to appease me. Well. That and I don't want to do something that could make me think lewd thoughts about you. Maria! Did you have. Did you have to stare so long at it though? I felt so self conscious. I, I couldn't help it, it looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I could just eat it up. Ah! <laughs> well, my dick just shriveled into my body. I don't want anyone munching on my dick. I mean, my p p p p p panties. Predicament. Oh. What did you 
What did you... Did, did, did you just say that out... Did, did, did I just say that out loud? I, I misspoke. Wrong phrase. Uh, wrong phrase. Wrong phrase. You have to forget it. You have to. <laughs> Ow! She grabs me by the shoulders and shakes me back and forth. You have to forget. Ah, stop shaking me. It's not going to make me forget. I didn't mean it like that. I swear I'm not a pervert. I get it. I don't think you are one. Uh, let me just go sleep and forget all about tonight. Right, right. Everything will be forgotten in the morning. Good, good night, Erica. Good, good, good night, Maria. Have pleasant dreams. Erica? Yes? I don't think I'd be able to sleep tonight. Me either. One month later. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> the jump gap here. The time period goes. Damn. Whoosh! Damn, you blink and you miss it. I did blink. And I did miss a whole month. How is this possible? Hello, Maria. I'm glad you could meet me. Good morning, Miss Farrell. What did you need to see me for? It's been around a month and a half since you came to Maiden Heart Academy. It's already the middle of October. I can't believe how fast time is go flying by. Pretty soon it will be Christmas break and we'll all be going home. I'm not exactly looking forward to that, but I do what I, I do want to see my mom. Have you gotten used to living in the dorms and attending classes with the girls? Yes, I wasn't. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be at, to fit in with everyone. It was never like this for me when I was in elementary school or at my old high school, so I was a little surprised at first. That's just what I wanted to hear. I must admit, I did not expect for this to go so smoothly. I half expected your secret to be exposed in the first week. Uh, well, someone did discover that I am actually a boy. Who discovered it, if I may ask? Harley Craft, she's one of my closest friends and won't tell anyone though. Harley, out of all the students, she would have been my last guest. Is there anyone else who knows? No, just her and Erica because you told her. Just her and Erica. That is good. Speaking of Erica, I heard that you two have been getting along well. I consider her another girl my consider her and another girl my best friends. I'm glad she opened up to you. It's about time that she deals with her issues with males. She seems to be doing better with other men as well. A few times she's seen them. Are you talking about her not snapping at them at the repairman? That and whenever she sees delivery men, I'm proud of how much she has improved. Please continue to help her out. I'm not really doing anything. She wants to get better at dealing with guys on her own. I'm just encouraged and congratulate her. Which has been very helpful. Thank you, Maria. Um, you're welcome. Forgive me for being so nos being nosy, but who is the other girl you consider your best friend? Is it Harley? Uh, the reason I'm asking is because you need to be careful around girls you are very close to. If it is Harley, then that's fine because she already knows. Harley is a is a um, Harley's a great friend, but it's not her. The other girl is Audrey Cornette. That girl? She is your cousin, if my memory serves me correctly. You knew that? I have in information on all my students. I saw the family connection when I enrolled you into the school. Maria, you need to be even more careful than I thought. You took a big risk by getting so close to her. I know that, but I hadn't seen her in ages. I want to get to know her again despite the risk. She doesn't know who I am, though. She has noticed my name being similar to a cousin of hers. I suppose we can count ourselves lucky that you two have not seen each other in a while, otherwise I'm sure she'll recognise you. How much trouble would it you get in if someone reported you? I'd be fo uh, forced to quit for sure. I'd probably be fined and maybe even serve jail time. 
wh why are you taking such a risk on for me? Your sweet person who has been through too many hardships for such a young age. I wanted to do something to help you and be and you being able to pass it for a girl allowed me to accept your mother's request. Thank you again, I really appreciate this. I plan on telling Audrey, but I think I'd hold off for a while. It's been it's better safe to be safe than sorry because this isn't just affecting me. You're quite welcome. Come in. Hi, hey, Mum. Oh, Maria, here too. Hi, Sylvia. Tell me, you weren't eavesdropping again? Again? What? No, I just got here. Why would I eavesdrop on you and Maria? When did you eavesdrop before? Uh, a long time ago. I didn't hear anything important. I was just bored and had nothing better to do. She's getting nervous. I have a really bad feeling about this. Miss Farrell, how do you know she was eavesdropping on you? Well, I have cameras and I... You looked through your camera's footage? Why nobody had stolen anything or caused any damage? I do that every week, Sylvia. I saw you listening on the conversation I had with another student. But, but... This is irrelevant to Maria. You may go now. I will deal with my daughter's bad behaviour. She says I can go, but something is very suspicious about the way she acts in too. What's going on? Mom, did you have to? Now I have to tell Maria. I shouldn't have come by just to say hi. My mistake. I will leave you two alone to talk. I have some headmistresses things to do anyway. She rushes out the door, leaving Sylvia and I together. Headmistress <laughs> Mum can't think properly when she's nervous. Who did you eavesdrop on talking to Miss Farrah? You already know that, don't you? I was hoping I'd be wrong. It was me, wasn't it? Yes, I slightly opened the door and when I heard what was being discussed, I kept it listening in secret. What did you hear? You already know that too. Could you tell me just in case I'm wrong? Yeah. Uh, making me say it? You're making me say it? I wanted you to tell me when you were ready. Your boy. How long have you known? I've been here a few times. So when did you leave to drop? Since the first time when you came here with Audrey, you knew for as long as Erica. Yes, but I haven't told anyone your secret. I wouldn't do that, so don't stress out about it. It's been nearly two months and I have kept my mouth shut. Three students at the school know I'm a boy now. I thought it was just two. Are you okay with me? Being a boy? You think I'd purposely hang out with you if I wasn't okay with it? I don't give a crap of whether you're male or female. It's not important to me. Thank you. This explains why you knew so much about me being bullied. I thought you were guessing you were too good and now I know why. Sorry about that. It's okay. I'm glad you know the true, true reason. I wasn't I wasn't for an awkward teenage age, but because my looks and personality fell much too heavily on the feminine side, which is okay, there's absolutely nothing wrong with a boy being like this. I cannot tell you how glad I am to have come to this school. Everyone, including those who know that I'm a boy, treat me so well. Me, Erica, Harley, and Mum, of course. Is there anyone else? Not that I'm aware of. I didn't know you knew about Harley. Oh yeah, Erica and I found out that Harley knew the night Erica walked in, in on you for the second time. Uh, don't remind me. You even know that? Haha, <laughs> sorry, you have my sympathies. <laughs> well, at least it hasn't happened again and the door was fixed again prop <laughs> properly this time. So it wasn't fixed properly. Damn. That's good. 
I'll, s <laughs> I'll save you from potential <laughs> modification. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, are you doing anything today? No, I've got nothing to do. It's Sunday, so I have no classes and already finished all my homework yesterday. Want to shoot some hoops with me? Shoot some hoops? That's basketball, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, it is. I take it that you haven't played much. I don't really like sports. Oh, come on! It'd be fun if you, me, and the others. I guess I play for if everyone else is too. Are we allowed to use the gym? The gym is free for anyone to use after classes or on the weekends. So we're good. Let's go get my sis first. I bet we'll be able to find her in the stud student council room. <sighs> Basketball! We're gonna invite the others too. Come and play with us. Sure, why not? I don't mind playing. But how are we going to split up the teams so that it's fair? Well, we'll worry about that once we know how many players we'll have. It looks like six. I text everyone and they all said they'll come play. Great! That makes it easy to arrange the teams. I think I have the perfect team for the most interesting game. Oh no. Hey guys, everyone's here now. So let's set up the teams. Tell me how this sounds from what I know. Two people here are good at sports, two are okay, and two are bad. Hey! I used to be okay at physical activities, but as I have focused my time elsewhere, what skills and strength I had have diminished cons considerably. That is why you two will be on opposite teams. It wouldn't be fair to, to you if you were together. Dawn and I are both athletic, so we will be on opposite teams as well. So then that leaves... So that leaves Eric and Harley. We'll have to be on opposite teams since everyone else is on a team. Okay, that's... That's done, can we play? The sooner we play, the sooner I get tired. The sooner I get tired, the sooner I get to take a nap. Yeah, I want to play too. Let's get going. Hold on a minute, we haven't decided on the teams. Hmm, didn't Silver just say who would be playing on, e on each team? She said who would be on opposite teams, but did not say who would be on each team. Specifically. Words. Specifically. There we go, I've got it. Maria, Harley, and me versus Audrey, Erica, and Dawn. Does that work for everyone? That seems fair. Not bad, Sylvia. I'm impressed. You managed to use that little brain of yours. Nice try, sis. I won't get annoyed so easily. I'm not the one with the short fuse. Are we going to play in our uniforms? We could change, but we're only playing a couple of games. Plus, the room is cold. It seems like it would be a waste of time to me. I'm good to play in whatever. I even play naked if I have to. <laughs> Please don't do that. Haha, I'm kidding. Well, let's get started. I want to win this thing already. Wait, what was the teams again? Maria, Harley, and Audrey. Maria, Harley, and Audrey. And so we be, so we begin playing the game of basketball. I'm just as bad as I thought I would be. I I can dribble the ball, but I have to put my effort into the. It. So it gets taken when I lose focus on the others. Audrey isn't much better than me. It surprises me to see her that. She used to be such a tomboy. But you'd never guess that if you saw her right now. I wonder when she decided that she wanted to change. It must have been years ago and she probably hardly touched physical activity since. 
pass the ball. Erica, what are you doing? Stop hog hogging the ball. I've got this. Erica takes the shot and misses the net completely. Ah. Why didn't you pass to me? I was open. Every everything's under control. We are going to lose if you keep this up. Dawn and Erica are having a little argument. Erica dis decides to win on her own is damaging up in our in a team sport. Dawn is the best player on the, their team. So Erica should really be passing to her whenever she can. So it's Sylvia, Maria and Harder. Erica and Erica, you guys are on a team. You aren't playing by yourselves. Fine. I pass the ball. Dawn. I pass the ball, Dawn. When I get it, and you're free. Sylvia and Harley are having a rough time too. Though for a different reason. Harley can play, but she's getting <laughs> she's getting the side mixed up every few minutes. Playing with her is making things a little disorienting. I'm open! Pass the ball! Pass me the ball! Okay. Whoa! Ow! So much force! Alright, hit! Here I go! Sylvia prepares her shot. Dawn and Erica rush towards her to block the, sh the shot. But they somehow hit each other <laughs> instead of the both fall to the ground. <laughs> Sylvia jumps and lets go of the ball. Ha! The ball launches high into the air. It's kind of a cliche shot. You'd see the end of the bus of a basketball movie for kids, but it's not a movie and it's not the end of the game. Ow, oh, my head! My head too, you head is huge. <laughs> <laughs> it's not! My head is perfectly normal size! It was a good shot and it went in the net given our team three points, but it was kind of ruined by Erica and Dawn. We played three, okay, we played three 10 minute games. Sylvia's team, the team I'm on, won the first. Dawn team won the second. The third game was very close, but Sylvia managed to get two baskets in the last few minutes. I hate losing. We would have won if you had passed in the first game. Ugh, so sorry about that. It's okay, at least you're passing the other two. They would, they were way more fun. How was it, Maria? Did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. I still don't like basketball itself, but spending time with everyone made it fun. I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew she'd say that. What about you, Audrey? I had a decent time. I'm surprised by how quickly I got winded, though. Perhaps I should consider exercising more often. You should. It's good for you. That goes for me as well. I pretty much avoid exercising after the time I worked out and developed some unappealing muscle. Some light exercise should be fine. It takes more than that to get anything significant in it. Yeah. Significant. So, is anyone else starving? I'm more tired than hungry, but I could eat something. Is it about lunchtime? We should head to the cafeteria. Well, 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 well. I'm going to leave it there for this episode. Thank you for watching. It's been your main man, Aaron Paradise, with Dronezio. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, share. And I shall see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.